Hello friends, Jordan here from JMS Drums, a channel that is dedicated to cultivating and redefining what the worship drummer is. Today, we're going to switch things up. We are going to take a look at my personal top 10 products for the worship drummer in 2020. Now, I'm going to stay away from things like sticks, cymbals, and drums as every drummer is different and everyone has a personal preference. Plus, some gear out there can get pretty expensive pretty quick. The gear on this list are some easy products that most worship drummers can use and appreciate. Also, these products are not too expensive, so if you are a worship drummer, don't forget to send this to your worship pastor or whoever's in charge of your worship experience as a subtle hint of things you could use. Links to everything will be down in the description below. Stick around to the end of this video. You do not want to miss my number one product for the worship drummer. With all that said, let's jump in. Starting in at number 10 on my list is the Vader Stick Holder Single Pair. Some drummers prefer a stick bag for their extra sticks. I personally prefer the Vader Stick Holders. These holders make drawing a drumstick after dropping a stick or breaking a stick much easier. These come in a single pair or a multi pair and feature a unique clamp style fastening system that can adjust by an easy turn knob. Both holders adjust to any angle needed for any sticks you use on a Sunday morning. The single pair or the multi pair holder comes in at about $15.99. Up next at number nine is the Pure Sound Super 30 snare wires. Now, I'm a part of different worship drummer forums and groups online, and all I ever seen the worship drummer community talking about is the 40 strand snare wire. It's everyone's go to, which truthfully, I wouldn't mind having one just to say I had one, but I feel like the 40 strand is a little bit of an overkill. Personal preference, I feel at times that the 40 strand chokes out the tone of your snare. That's why I personally go with the Super 30 from Pure Sound. Unlike other wide format snare wires, the Super 30 is designed to resist choking out your tone. Consistent spacing on the snare wire itself allows for all 30 wires to be evenly taut across the bottom head. The Super 30 is only a half inch wider than standard snare ribbons and the copper end clips further enhance sensitivity to your snare. Coming in at a whopping $20.99, these snare wires will give your snare a great sound for the worship experience. I have always told myself, rehearse the way you want to play. I personally feel that if I want to play well, I need to practice to make sure I know my parts inside and out. But let's be honest, I have a hard time drumming at times because, well, drums are loud. Let's be honest, nobody in my household wants to hear me drumming at 11 at night when I finally have time to rehearse. Number eight on the list is the Remo Silent Stroke Drum Head. Now these are not your standard drum heads as these are mesh heads that will fit on most drum shells. This particular one is a 14 inch that I use on my snare drum. These drum heads are pretty incredible as the playing surface responds naturally as you play, giving you the feel of a natural kit minus the volume. Truth be told, I actually have an entire kit at home with these for the purpose of practicing at low volume. These have been a lifesaver. Now prices vary from size to size, but for the 14 inch drum head, it comes out to be $16.99, which is about the price of a normal drum head in some cases. Next up at number seven is the fun little accessory that I've used on my hi-hat numerous times. The Minol Hi-Hat Tambourine. Yes, say goodbye to the crazy tambourine lady. Oh, uh, excuse me? I I'm just messing, I'm just messing. We love you, Karen. Please don't hurt me. This little guy is a wing nut mounted tambourine with eight pairs of steel jingles and mounts to your hi-hat. What is great about this is when you stop using your hi-hat or moving your hi-hat, the tambourine stays silent. No more awkward moments with your tambourine. Well, I deserve that one. The tambourine hi-hat comes in at $16.99. Next on my list is a staple for the worship drummer. That staple is the big fat snare drum. I gotta be honest here. I, I had one at one point in time and I was being a, a friend and I lent it to somebody and I never got it back. Probably need to reach out to him about that. But in any case, big fat snare drum 
has many different styles and sizes for an easy way to transform your snare drum sound. Big Fat Snare Drum drops the pitch of your snare drum, reduces resonance, beefs up your attack, and delivers a dry yet penetrating tone with low sustain. This is a great product for the drummer out there wanting a fat snare tone for one song and then a normal snare tone for the next. With the different styles of big fat snare drum out there, the prices can vary anywhere from $20.99 to $37.99. I'll leave links to all of those options down below. Now some drummers out there believe that big fat snare drum has way too much dampening on them. And in some cases, I completely agree. That's where these guys come in. Weighing in at number five is the M80 and the M1B from Snare Weight. Did you get it? Weighing in, Snare Weight. It's funny, right? The M80 and the M1B is engineered to control the residents without sacrificing the brightness of the drum. Both the M80 and the M1B has four different dampening settings, mild, medium, heavy, and off. And these can be used to shave just a little bit of ring off your drums. I'm a huge fan of Snareway and their products. The M80 is priced at $23.99 and the M1B is priced at $15.99. Let's keep rolling into number four, which is the DW Standard Hi-Hat Clutch. Now, these are made for the 9000 series hi-hat stands, but will work with any heavy duty stand out there. Honestly, I think they come standard with most DW hi-hat stands, but don't quote me on that. You can, however, buy these separately, and I tell you what, these are a sound investment. I use these all the time to lock in my top hi-hat. This cymbal clutch allows you to dial in the amount of play you want out of your hi-hats and then locks in your settings to provide consistent support. All you need is a drum key to lock or unlock the clutch. The DW Standard Hi-Hat Clutch comes in at $21.99. So the next product on this list is fairly new to me, but I've grown to love it so much that I had to bump it up to the number three spot, which is the Dunmar Square Bass Drum Beater, also known as the Zorro Beater. The Square Beater has more surface area than any other beaters that I've used. The beater strikes completely flat, unlike a rounded edge felt or rubber beater. This beater has a ton of weight behind it, and because of that, the beater creates a full punchy bass drum sound with a ton of low end. This beater is perfect for the worship drummer trying to get that perfect thud out of your kit. This beater personally has become my favorite bass drum beater out of the many beaters I have used over the years. The Dunmar Square Bass Drum Beater comes in at $28.99, worth every penny. In the number two spot, we have the Evans Torque Key. The Evans Torque Key is an easy and painless way to tune your drums. I know that tuning your drums can be stressful at times, but with the Torque Key, you can preset it to release at a specific tension. That way, you will ensure even tuning it every single lug. In addition, when tuning your drums, there is a non-slip magnetized head in the key making it easy to use, store, and handle. Now I want to add a disclaimer here. The Torque Key is a way to tune your drums to get close to where you want the drums to be at, but the Torque Key is not the answer for the best tuning possible. What helps is to go back through your drums after the fact to fine tune them after you use the Torque Key. This gets you close, but this is not the answer to the best tuning possible. Close but not exact. This handy dandy torque key comes in at $19.99. Before we get to my number one pick, if you have enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. This channel is dedicated to equipping you, the local church drummer, by releasing content designed to help understand our role as worship drummers. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, my number one pick for the top 10 products is the book, Worship Leaders, We Are Not Rockstars. So this is by no means a drum product, but this is a drummer product. In many of my previous videos, I have spoke on the subject of leadership as a drummer. Now, one question that we as leaders need to ask ourselves is, what is our motivations for leading worship? 
I know I personally have struggled with this as I find myself wanting to point people to Jesus, but I feel a desire to want to be noticed and praised for my abilities as well. The author Stephen Miller teaches us as leaders how to lead worship. He helps us to re-examine our role and helps us to make Jesus the center of all of our efforts. Not only that, but he helps us to think of ourselves as more than just worship leader. By definition, we are worshipers, pastors, theologians, and so much more. Look, I am by no means a reader, but this is an easy read and extremely relatable if you're willing to be true and honest with yourself. I want to read a section out of chapter one that best explains why this is my number one pick for the list. While singing has a powerful and unique role in worship, songs may be our smallest expression of worship. To call a worship leader a worship leader is to say his responsibilities go far beyond simply leading the church in singing of some songs. Singing songs may be our smallest expression of worship, or in our case as drummers, playing. It's so crazy when you think about it, but it's a great reminder of what it means to be a true worship drummer. Worship leaders, we are not rock stars is priced at $13.99, or if you do a digital copy, I think it may be cheaper. Don't quote me on that. And there you have it. My top 10 products for the worship drummer in 2020. These are all products that I have personally been using or tried this year. So I was excited to put this list together. Thanks my friends, we will catch you on the next one.